we come to a group of artificial islands made mostly from floating reeds called the Euros. Whoa! Hola! It's like stepping onto a make-believe world. When you twirl these bobbles on the end of the ladies' plaits, it means they're flirting. <laughs> it feels like this is all for show, but this is how these people have been living for hundreds of years. These days, there's even a TV. It's very comfortable in here. Yes. The islands are made from totora reeds which grow in the lake. The original purpose for these islands was defensive. If a threat arose, they could move them fairly easily by cutting the reeds they're anchored by. Each island lasts about 30 years before it rots. These days it's a thriving tourist business and a well-oiled show at that. Before we could even blink, we were being dressed up. They're getting a hat that's appropriate for my head. It doesn't fit me. If this doesn't fit, I don't think you can... Oh, gracias. That's better. Bonito. You will now be known as Big Melon. <laughs> and we became the main stars in what was like a pantomime. <laughs> The dance is something like Ring-a-Ring-a-Rosie, although it became like some kind of ritual with us in the middle. And now it's time to play shopkeepers. I am the customer, and they've adopted Clint as their son. I'll, uh, I'll trade you one of these for uh, five... For my what? Kisses. I didn't do this to you. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the chicken for free. <laughs> we must have made a good impression as they offer their boat for a little cruise, serenading us all the way. That was tip top, that was amazing.